So you don't want to use passwords anymore for your Google account. Well, I'm going to walk you through how to use a technology known as passkeys so that you can set up your account to log in securely without any password. All right, so we're going to set up passkeys in Google now. So to do that, you're just going to click on your profile and then you're going to go into manage your Google account. That's going to open up another tab and then we're going to head on over to the security tab. The security tab is going to have a lot of great features for you just to see how secure is your account and allow you to configure a lot of different options. But for today, we're just going to focus in on pass keys. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and that's going to open up another tab that's going to show you what pass keys you have created. Now, if you are a Google user, it's potentially going to already have created a pass key for you on your Android device, but you might have to click on something up top here if that happens, just click through. It's automatically gonna take care of everything for you. It's just one of the nice features that you have if you're using an Android device. But we wanna look at how do we just get this set up for our entire Google account and other devices that we might own. So you can see here that I already have something automatically created because I do use an Android device and it's set up for Google Pixel. I can use this to log into my Google account because it just makes it easy. So the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and click on create a pass key. Now this is gonna pop up a dialog box here and just give you a quick overview of what pass keys are and just talk about all the cool things with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. And from here, we'll see that it's asking me if I wanna create a pass key for google.com and tie it to my login name. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue here. And then I'm going to get a prompt asking me uh, to verify that it is me. And this is just set up with biometrics here, or I could use my device password. So I'm gonna go ahead and click through there. And we get another prompt here just saying, hey, your passkey has been created. So now that passkey is all set and I can use this to log into Google moving forward. I'm gonna go ahead and click done here. And then we're set. Now you can see here pass keys that I created. I have this set up on Chrome on my MacBook. So I mentioned I want to set up some more pass keys so I can just have a lot of different options available to me. So to do that, I just have to go through that process again. So I'm going to click on create a pass key, but I'm going to say use another device. So I'm going to go and I'm going to try it with a USB security key. Now, if you've seen me before, I love YubiKeys, and so I'm gonna set this up with my YubiKey now so that I can use it moving forward. So I'm gonna go plug this into my computer and we're gonna get this set up. So I just plugged in my YubiKey to my computer. It's now gonna prompt me for a pin. I enter my pin in, I'm gonna click on the YubiKey device, and then it's gonna say, do you want to allow this site to see your security key? I obviously do, because I wanna complete this process, so I'm gonna click allow, and then there we go. The passkey has been created for that security key. So I now can use that to verify my identity as well. Now you can see there are three devices that I can use now to log into Google without a password. It's all using the passkey technology. Now there's one other setting that I want you to check. If we go back to the main security page, we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna look at this skip passwords when possible. Now this is selected to on. If I didn't set up passkeys before, this would show us off. If we go ahead and click through here, we can see this is going to allow us to sign into Google with pass keys when possible. So it's gonna to try to basically default to that so I'm not typing in a password. You wanna make sure that this is selected because it's going to force you into better habits. Now, when you set up these pass keys, you're gonna get a, an alert via email from Google saying that somebody set up these pass keys. This is just a little bit of a security feature to flag that somebody has set up a pass key for your account. So hopefully this is you. If it's not, you definitely wanna look into that, but this is all about keeping your account secure. So if you take these steps now, you're not gonna really have to worry about this too much in the future. So to test this login out, I'm gonna just sign out of my account here, and then I'm just gonna log right back in here. So I'm gonna sign it again. It's saying verify it's you, so I'll click next. You can see here it's automatically prompting for my pass key now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. And then it pops up again to say, hey, do you wanna use this pass key for google.com? I'm gonna click continue. It's gonna prompt me for my uh, fingerprint again. I'll go ahead and click that and that's it. It's important to understand that pass keys are only gonna be synced on Google between Android devices. So while that's great if I'm moving from phone to phone, it doesn't help me in this case because I set up that pass key on my Mac. 
So I want to set up another pass key on a device that I'm typically going to have with me, which is going to be my phone. So let's go and do that now. So I'll log out again. I'm going to go and click sign in again, click next. It's going to prompt me again here, asking me if I want to log in. And here's where I'm going to click on use a different device. So I'm going to click on that and I want this to go to my phone. So I'm going to click on the Pixel 7 and then on my phone, I'm now getting a notification that's saying, hey, somebody's trying to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to scan my fingerprint here. And then there we go. I'm logged back in again. That's how easy it is to use pass keys. Within 30 seconds, you can have a new pass key created. You can then log out, log back in, and be ready to go with pass keys. So your homework is to go and set this up on your Google account, and then start looking at where you can set this up for other websites. If you're looking for a deep dive on the technology behind this and just how this works and why it's secure, check out this video here where we go and do that deep dive.